The protein skimmer removes waste product, helping to keep your water quality within healthy levels. When choosing a protein skimmer, base your selection on high bio load and full system volume. So how does the protein skimmer work? As the pump pulls water in from the sump, it also draws air through the air intake with silencer, where the specialized impeller creates microbubbles from the air. With the use of a bubble plate, a dense mix of microbubbles and water is created in the body of the skimmer. The organic waste from the aquarium attaches to the microbubbles, creating a foam that flows into the collection cup. The collection cup is then cleaned of the skimmer waste as needed. When you set up a skimmer, you'll go through a break-in period, which can last a few days, up to two weeks. During this time, slowly adjust the water level in the protein skimmer until you reach a steady foam production. Adjusting the water level in your skimmer is done with a water adjustment knob. Turning towards the open position will lower the water level. Turning to the closed position will raise it. Our choice in protein skimmers is the NIOS Quantum, which has four models available for aquariums up to 1,000 gallons. We are using the NIOS Quantum 300 on the Reef LX320.7. Using carbon and phosphate removers will improve your water quality. They will help reduce organics, discoloration, and impurities. We recommend using a media reactor, which forces water through the media, therefore increasing its effectiveness. We don't typically recommend using a media bag in your sump as most water will bypass it, rendering it ineffective. The NIOS Torque has many features that make it our top choice for a media reactor. The Torque is available in three sizes which can easily be swapped out. It's also extremely easy to adjust the flow rates depending on the type of media being used. We've decided to use the NIOS Torque 2.0 on the Reef LX320.7 using both carbon and phosphate medias.